Eddie DeBartolo, clearly loved by San Francisco 49ers players, caught the last touchdown at Candlestick, unofficially, in a Legends <laughs> game from Joe Montana, who was obviously a crucial part of that dynasty as well. Was he more so than Jerry Rice, Steve? This is this is a brutal question, right? Because we, <laughs> we, know, we know Jerry Rice is, is the GOAT, right? right. See where, is yeah, the absolutely. Goat. Well, to me, it's got to be Joe Montana because as great of a player as Jerry Rice was, other players touched the ball, and a lot of people got into position to succeed because of Joe Montana, the perfect quarterback for Bill Walsh's then rather new West Coast offense. But Seaway, my, my deciding, my swing vote here, is just a clutch play in the big game. Mm -hmm. And Joe Montana always seemed to deliver when they needed it most. Again, overall, it's a toss-up, both Super Bowl MVPs. Yes. But Joe Montana, just because he was so clutch. Yeah, I give it to you, Joe. And Joe won, too, without Jerry. Before Jerry yeah. got there. So, I mean, he set the blueprint before Jerry got there. The good thing with Jerry Rice is once Joe retired, he won another one. So he kind of put the icing on the cake. But when you look at Jerry Rice's career, that's what you remember him for most. I mean, this was, like, like we just talked about it, see, the greatest player in NFL history. So it's hard to say as a 49er, he's the greatest 49er, but how do you turn around and say <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's the greatest <laughs> football player? I mean, it's, it's so it's, hard because you see what you know. Look, look what he's doing here. Just a yeah. simple route that's going to turn to a big play. And that's the key. I, was, I always say this, of course, as a wide receiver. Quarterbacks get yardage for receivers running with the ball after the catch. So Jerry was one of those guys. He would catch a five-yard slant, and he would take it 70 yards. Guess what? Those numbers, they go on Jerry and Steve Young. I mean, uh, Joe Montana and Steve Young stat sheet. Dwight well, Clark, so many of these other guys. Too. There, there, there were the other ball. guys. Yeah. That's for sure. Speaking of Dwight Clark, you know, uh, they did not have social media back then, for better or for worse. Uh, <laughs> if they had, Dwight Clark tells us that his Twitter feed would have included this humble gem the night of the catch. What a throw Joe made, and what a drive Coach Walsh put together. I can't believe we're going to the Super Bowl. Hashtag if social existed, when. And that again, Dwight Clark told us today. And that's what he would have tweeted. Roger Craig tells us that he would have tweeted this after they beat Miami in Super Bowl 19. At ring ceremony, Coach Walsh whispered to me he needs 1,000 yards from me next year. Rushing or receiving? I'll just cover both. <laughs>